KB Core is such an amazing, powerful, robust system that I want to tell you about the six things that I think are important to know when you're considering the whole package, whether you're using it, getting started, been using it a while, it doesn't matter. There are six things that are super important to know about KB Core and in fact, any CRM system, it's really important to know these six things. And maybe if you're even thinking to compare them, these are the six things. So what are they that you wanna make sure you know? And even if you are an experienced user, and please you know, stay to the end, because I wanna talk a little bit about the automation that I think is so critical to do at a minimum. And please, for free, do me a favor. If you like this content, give me a thumbs up. And we're gonna be putting out weekly videos, so subscribe to the channel so you can be notified. And if you have any questions, comment down below. All right. So that being said, let's get started. I'm Kim Barber with Kim Barber Group and EXP Realty, and I've helped thousands of owners and agents with real estate since 2004. What are the six things that you need to know about KB Core? So the first thing that's important to know is that KB Core is a powerful a web and CRM solution. And so what that means is that, you know, when we're looking at solutions to both show our online presence as well as, you know, manage all of our leads, it's important to have both, right? A web and like a database. And so a CRM system also is called a customer relationship management system, right? So right here, you can see it on the screen. And what that means is that it's more powerful than just like a database that's gonna house contacts or something that's just gonna do some simple follow-ups. A CRM system is designed to manage the entire life cycle, communications, interactions, customer service, and you know, if somebody comes in new and then they start buying more homes from you. So it's really meant to be more robust than, you know, our Excel spreadsheets that we've, you know, we probably all used. Um, the other thing is that, you know, I find that sometimes it can feel complicated or overwhelming, but starting off on the most important things is how to manage that. And the reason is because it does have a lot to offer. So I just wanna jump into the six things that are important and to understand there is that it is a CRM system, not just like a database, okay? So let's talk about the web front end. Okay, so the web front end, that's the number two thing that's important to know about KB Core is that it's got the website, right? So the website, you know, we need to have our online presence. We have to have the way that people can find us and you can either do a custom site and then have it connected to the back end where your leads are, where your clients are, where you're having the interaction, or they have them connected for you already. So KB Core has this website, front end as we call it, connected to the back end, which there's being that it's more powerful is called a CRM system. So number two then, that means that it's important to know that there is a website connected. Okay, so the third thing to understand is really where it comes down to us interacting with our clients, right? And it, that's really one of the main things that we wanna have. We wanna send them to our website and then it's important for us to see what people are doing and what they're not doing. So one of the challenges that we have, we just use for example, our MLS, is and a lot of them are more sophisticated than others. I know I live in Northern Virginia and we have the Bright MLS. It is pretty fancy, it's come a long way, but you don't necessarily get the same interaction you're gonna get from a CRM system and let me show you why and let me show you how. Okay, so again, this is my front end. I can send people to my website and then what happens is that they either gonna log in or I'm gonna log in for them and set up some alerts and then we're going to see them on the back end. So this, if you have not seen it before, is KV Core's dashboard. If you have seen this before, uh, it is no surprise to you of what it's looking like here, right? And so here's the thing. The third thing to understand about KV Core is it is designed to be interactive, right? So what does that mean? It means that I can log in at any day and I can see all the things that are happening with the people that are in my system. Right, so these are views, these are, these are texts, these are emails that are back and forth. And so that being said, we can see the interactions and that's like super important, right? We wanna be able to know what's happening as well as we can you know, manage our listings. And so that entire part of this is designed to be interactive with our clients. So to that, the next fourth thing that's really critical is on the setup of KV Core. So when it comes to the contacts, 
That's the fourth thing, right? We have to set the contacts up the right way so that we can actually experience this interaction. So I'm just gonna plug in, I've got some different uh, test names of my own. And so when we go in here, for example, we can have, look, I need to call myself and we have notes that are here, but I can set up property alerts and I can set up campaigns and valuations. So the important thing about this then is to make sure that the profile is set up accurately. So this is one of my test profiles here. And it's really important to, you know, make sure that the name is properly set up. Now that might seem silly, but when you have new leads coming in here, whether they're doing it from an open house, they're doing it by your manual entry, they're doing it by finding you on the website or what have you, sometimes they don't like put capitalization, things merge, the email ends up being in the last name. And then when you get this automatic message sent to them and it says, hi, you know, kbarber at yahoo.com, that's unprofessional right so we don't want to have that it's it, they're going to know right away that it's like not actually us so the other thing is in order to take advantage of some of the things that i love is that we want to get their the people's like addresses right and we want to put them in here and again this might just sometimes be like i hadn't even thought of it to to go that extra mile you know we know so many people but go through your phone and you know get their mailing address because then one of the great things about KV Core is that you can set up the listing valuation and the market reports. So in the four things, the fourth thing that's important to me in the profile is setting it up properly so it comes off professionally and then make it a priority to get the addresses in there, to get this complete information so that you can take advantage of the automation. I love the market report. So for example, if I want to put, you know, my you know, my neighborhood in here then you, you, know, you can find your community and then you know, share that with your, your client to say, hey, let me share with you um, what's going on in your neighborhood, right? That's one of my favorite things. Also the listing valuation, so that you know, when, right before you talk to somebody and you're like, oh, I wonder how much your house is worth now, then it can also like update it for you and send an email. So super awesome automation, all right? So that's my fourth thing that I think is really important to know. So the fifth thing that I really love about KB Core, I want to share with you that you need to know is two mobile apps that they have that I use the one all the time, which is their KB Core mobile app for your phone. And there's a couple of different ways you can find it. Obviously, you want to download it on your iPad or your phone, whether you're Droid or iPhone, whatever they have it. And the things that I like about it that I use all the time is I get notices so that if somebody's on my site and like revisiting or I'm texting back and forth, then, you know, I'm like seeing it right here, right? That's super easier than having to be at the desktop. The other thing is that it has a dialer feature so that I can just kind of press some of the quick keys and I don't have to go and like manually enter everything or go look it up here or there. And so there's a couple features that I really use all the time. Today, in fact, I was doing some uh, texting and calling using the app and I wanted to reach out to them with video. So I had it where I, it said like text from my phone here and then, it, and then it pulled it up in my text app on my iPhone and then I just shot a video, right? And so that, that's just so user friendly to me. So the second mobile app that I love is the Open House app. And I, you know, been licensed and selling them since 2004, don't judge me. And I've, you know, gone through all the phases of open houses where there's like sign in sheets and then there's like just sign on my iPad and there's different versions through the day, through the years. But KB Core does have their own open house app. So that is awesome. When somebody comes in, you can have them sign in on the app and then it goes right into your system. And then of course you can set up automation or just allows you to follow up better because I've, let's face it, you know, there's sometimes I can't read their handwriting. I've forgotten, I've gotten, you know, lazy, like I'm human and I just didn't get everybody in or I just, they, I just couldn't read the information. So that's super helpful and it does some validation of the information that they're actually giving you. And so let me just show you a couple of what they're going to look like. I'm going to log in and show you from Chrome. And of course you actually want to download these on your mobile devices. So let's just jump in here. I just want to show you where some of these are 
and what they look like. So if you go, you know, into KV Core mobile apps, um, it's, you know, on, on Chrome, it's going to want you to look them up on Google Play. So this is what the KV Core main app looks like that I was mentioning. And um, so you'll see this blue icon here. So look for that on your phone. And then the other one is the Open House app. And so that's, um, like I mentioned, super friendly. And this is the one that you wanna take with you to your open house. Just remember that you will need Wi-Fi. So the sixth thing that I really love about KV Core has to do with automation. So I've already showed you where you can set up market reports and valuations. And when you dive deep into that, you can set it up on seven days, 14 days, 21, 28. And I love that you can do automation. It's so important that we stay in front of people on a regular basis. In, in that automation, you can watch other videos about how to set these up and, and the best practice that I recommend. But just in general, having those that they can set up on the regular is awesome. And then also to understand that KV Core has the ability to do what they call smart campaigns. So you have market reports, you have seller valuations, you have property alerts, of course, and then they have these smart campaigns. So smart campaigns are designed for when you have leads that come in of certain types, certain statuses, that you can set up these entire campaigns that will follow up and help give you tasks to do. So within KV Core, they give you a certain amount like automatically, and then you, you, know, you move them into your library. So that's the great thing about KV Core is it does have all this automation. So those are my six favorite things, and you can watch other videos to dive more deep into each one of these. So those are the six things that I think are really important to understand about KV Cores. Number one, it is a CRM system. It is not just a database. It has a lot of power because it is a CRM system, okay? The other thing is that number two, it does have that website front end and they are integrated. It's important to understand that so you don't have to go build a custom site, but when you do wanna build a custom site, then you just have to connect them up again together. So the third thing is, is that they're designed to be interactive together, right? And so that means that you'll be able to see what, what they're doing. You can interact with them in one place with emails and texting and calling. You can see if they're opening up your emails. You can see if they're texting you, you know, you get the text back and forth all in one place, right? That's the other benefit of a CRM system. Okay, so then the fourth thing that's really important to know is that there has all these fields and abilities to have a really complete and robust profile. Then you can set up the market report and the valuations, and that way you're using it to more of its potential of the CRM system. The fifth thing is that there are two really critical mobile apps that you should become familiar with. Um, if you're not doing open houses, then obviously you don't need to worry about it, but if you are doing them, definitely highly encourage you to implement that and save yourself a lot of time and not miss out on leads, okay? Then the last thing is, is that I love the automation. It is amazing. I set up my market reports for at least uh, once every three weeks. And then I also, some people like zip codes, some people like the neighborhoods. I'm a big fan of the market report for the neighborhood. And then you also have the seller evaluation and then you have all the follow-up, right? So you can get really sophisticated, you know, I've got a lot of time frame campaigns and things like that so I can stay in touch with people when they tell me what they're when they're planning to buy and sell. Anyway, so if you like this information and you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you have questions, do a comment below. Subscribe to our channel, please, so you can get notified of when we put out our next weekly video. <laughs>